Hi, my name is Marcus Robinson, and this is my story. Um, so I grew up in uh, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, um, which is a very interesting city. It's, it's in the South, um, but very urban at the same time. So my grandmother started the first integrated nursery in Levy County, Florida. All the while race riots are happening in Levy County, my grandmother said one of the best places she thought that she could bridge the gap between black and white was through education. Uh, in the middle of the segregated South, having to battle through crosses being burned on, the, on their front lawn, um, people just not wanting to see children of all races come educated together. But she fought on and that nursery is still open to this day. So my mom kind of saw this happening as she was growing up. So my mother actually participated in the Selma March in, in Selma, Alabama. It's Bloody Sunday was the day in which uh, white police officers decided to attack the uh, peaceful protest that happened on that bridge in Selma, Alabama. My mother was actually a part of that protest. She was a part of that Bloody, Bloody Sunday. I am a firm believer in Diversity, in fact, I fundamentally believe that diversity just wins. It's very difficult, in my opinion, to not like a race or not like a group of individuals if you're surrounded in your immediate area with those people. When we're um, depending on one another, when we have each other's backs, it's very difficult to not like a group of individuals. Jersey City, as you know, is one of the most diverse cities in the nation. When I think about Tapestry Church, first of all, when I first walked in the doors, one of the most amazing things was that the community of Tapestry Church reflects the community of Jersey City. What do you think makes Tapestry a, such a safe place for diversity to grow? Our leadership is it's as diverse as they get. A uh, white couple, we have a Filipino couple, we have a black couple, we, we have uh, Latinx on our leadership as well. I think a lot of people believe integration means that I take my race and I put it in my back pocket or I forget about the fact that I'm black. But one of the things I love about Tapestry Church in particular is that we're not we're not colorblind, like we're color celebratory. We're not telling you to put your, your color or your race in your back pocket, right? We're not colorblind in that sense. But what we are saying is, we believe that um, maybe because you, have a, you are of uh, black descent or maybe because you are of Puerto Rican descent, that you, you offer a perspective that we are welcoming. I think the tapestry has done a really great job of trying to bridge the gaps because ultimately it is a place where no perfect people are allowed. It's a place where you can be vulnerable with people who don't necessarily look like you, but ultimately we love each other and we are chasing, the, chasing after the same goal and helping each other as we go through this thing called life.